The past 72 hours have been challenging. Those are the words from Prince George's County Police Chief Mark McGall after a weekend of violence in the county. There were seven shootings that left five people dead. Denise Douglas has more on the crimes and what police plan to do. This past weekend was an exception. It was a bloody weekend in the county, leading police today to reassure the public. Investigators have concluded that none of these incidents are connected and none involved random victims. On Friday, 17-year-old Brandon Wiggins was killed here along Bright Seat Road in what police say was a drug-related shootout. Then early Saturday morning, Lester Quintanilla was shot down in what appears to be a robbery attempt as he left the Galaxy nightclub in Hyattsville where he was denied entry. Quintanilla was a member of the MS-13 gang. Now there is concern about possible retaliation. From our standpoint, as far as retaliation issues and that type of thing, we, we need to stay on top of that. So that's, that's part of this case. The violence continued Saturday evening with two domestic disputes. Police say Audrea Blackwell killed her friend Ashley McClurkin after a fight in a Suitland apartment before accidentally shooting herself in the leg. Then 83-year-old Dorothy Ogden died at the hands of her granddaughter, Kristalina Warner, in their Akakeek home. On Sunday, a fifth shooting in Forestville, but police are looking into whether it was a justifiable homicide. 21-year-old David Shaw, they say, killed after trying to rob his friends. Prompting another male robbery victim to jump him in an effort to wrestle the gun away. The gun was eventually taken from Shaw during the struggle and the now armed robbery victim shoots and kills Shaw. In addition to all of that, there was also a shooting here on Northwest Drive in Hyattsville. There was also one on Afton Street in Temple Hills. No one was hurt in either incident. Despite the violent weekend, police say that homicides are down. They've seen 17 compared with 26 the same time last year. And they're sending a message out to criminals that they're about to launch a summer initiative focused on getting them off the streets. I'm Denise Douglas, CTV News. The anti-crime summer initiative will be announced in May. Police are still looking for suspects in three of the cases.